The Marie Curie Initial Training Network, ITN, is a network of universities, research institutes and companies based in different countries. ITN is interdisciplinary and intersectoral and targets early stage researchers. Marie Curie Actions has recently introduced two new types of initial training network. Let's look at two examples of these new models. The first is an innovative doctoral program based in Utrecht. This uh, Marie Curie uh, Initial Training Network uh, Innovative Doctoral Program uh, is a new program of its kind. We have the opportunity to cooperate with um, companies or scientists from other countries and not only from the Netherlands. I'm studying protein folding and in particular folding of LDL receptor, a protein which malfunction uh, has been associated with the development of a genetic disease called familiar hypercholesterolemia, which basically is characterized by cardiovascular uh, complications. Manifold has, uh, consists of seven research groups and they are all located here and that gives us an interdisciplinary width on the, on the research topics. And, um, uh, and all of the PhD students who are part of Manifold, they are exposed to an international partner and to a company partner. Manifold has seven international partners in Israel and in England, in the States and Canada. Um, and it has um, four company uh, partners. What is unique about uh, Marie Curie Fellowship is that it uh, gathers 11 people from different countries at the same place at Utrecht University working on the same project, protein folding. Basically the final goal is to understand the mechanism of protein folding and also the role of uh, chaperones in this process. We yeah, are from very different fields, so if we discuss a topic then uh, we can give very different ideas and we can also learn a lot from each other. Working together in uh, everyday basis, we have to, the opportunity to interact with each other and exchange knowledge, our results, to discuss about our results, and uh, this way we can achieve more. Let's now take a look at a European industrial doctorate program based in Siena. It's another example of the new implementation of an initial training network. The possibility to actually be in two different countries to do this project was very positive for me. I'm now currently in Italy doing the first half of my PhD and I will move to Birmingham and do my second half. I'm working with uh, developing a vaccine against uh, invasive non tifoidae like Salmonella, which is a devastating disease mainly found in sub-Saharan Africa. Essentially what we have is the VEDA program, which is a program in the EID, European Industrial Doctorate Scheme. And what that does is that brings us together as NVGH, the industrial partner, with the University of Birmingham as the academic partner to run a series of PhD fellowship projects involving research in both industry and academia. Mainly here is the development part of the vaccine. Back in Birmingham University, we will investigate how the immune response will be affected by this vaccine. The program is called the VEDA program as a fairly thinly veiled reference to Star Wars. Academia has uh, traditionally regarded industry as the dark side and uh, I'm pleased to say that in recent years there's been an increased willingness to collaborate so perhaps we're no longer so much the dark side. Working in one of the most important companies in the vaccine panorama is pretty exciting and gives you the possibility to improve your skills, your scientific skills and to broaden your knowledge in different fields. I'm very happy to work on this project because you get the expertise from two different worlds. And for my own career, that is really, really good because it opens more doors in the future.
up there.